Hi there, Tammy Beard with Stampin' Savvy. I'm a Stampin' Up! Independent demonstrator and I am so glad that you're here with me today. I am really excited about what I have to share. We're gonna be making this card right here. I wanna show you how simple it is to create shaped cards. In this case, a circle card. Is that not just too cute? Really, really easy to do. So in addition to that, I've got something else I'm going to share with you. We're going to be bringing in the Delightful Day Bundle, which is a photopolymer stamp set, and then it's the Delightful Tag Topper Punch. And again, when you buy the bundle, you are putting the two products together and saving 10% right off the top. Woohoo! So, but what I want to show you is that even though this is a tag punch, you can use it to do more than just create tags, like in the card today. These layers were created with that punch. Is that not too fun? I'm going to show you just how easy it is to do that. And I hope that you'll stick around to the end because I've got a little bit different version of the layering that I will show you at the end using another uh, sentiment uh, that has been cut out with one of our other punches. This one happens to be the tailored tag punch and I'm going to be using the everyday label punch on a different card and show you kind of a different version of this technique. So are we ready to get started? What I want to point out is you can certainly do this in any colors that you like. In this case, I wanted a masculine um, uh, card to go with a gift. So I've chosen crumb cake for the card base. And then for my layers, I did very vanilla, night of navy, and then crumb cake again. And then I've used whisper white here for the sentiment panel. And I've used night of navy color matched ink for the polka dots as well as for the sentiment. But in today's card, I wanted to completely change it up and we're gonna be doing purples because I wanted you to see how by just changing the colors, you can really get a completely different look. Okay, so let's set this off to the side. So you're gonna want the Delightful Day Bundle. You're gonna want the circle layering dies and we're gonna be using the largest die from the set. It's a three inch die. And you're gonna be cutting two pieces of cardstock from this die. And in this case, I have chosen the new in color purple posy. Then you're going to want to have your three layer colors. And in this case, what I have done is I've chosen Highland Heather, Gorgeous Scrape, and then I'm going to bring in Whisper White. And then you're also going to want a separate piece of Whisper White scrap for that sentiment right there. You're going to want a color matched ink pad. In this case, I'm going to use Gorgeous Grape. You could certainly also use Highland Heather for the colors that I've chosen. You're going to want to bring in one of our Whisper White little 3x3 three three envelopes. Are these not just too cute? You get 40 of these to a package. These last a really, really long time. You're going to want a couple of your Stampin' Dimensionals and a pair of scissors. And then the tailored tag punch is what we're going to be using for the sentiment. So let's go ahead and get started. So you've cut out your two pieces on your die cutting machine with the three inch circles. And then for your layers here, you're going to want to cut three of them or one of each two inches wide by like three to four inches long. It really doesn't matter how long it is but you don't want to go less than three inches because you need to be able to have room to hold it as you put it into the punch and then punch the opposite end. If you get too short, um, it's really hard to do that and to get it centered. So I say three to four inches. So what I've done is, again, I've gone ahead and I've punched out two of these. We're gonna go ahead and punch this one together. And then we've got our square piece here. So let's go ahead and get our tag topper punch here. Now, as I showed last week um, with the project that I did, and you know I have it still here on my desk. Let me show you what we did. This is the one we did last week. And this kind of shows you what uh, you can do for the tag, some of the possibilities. But I want you to see the layering here. 
this Knight of Navy layer was one and a half inches, and then the Balmy Blue layer is two inches. And that's one of the fun things about this punch is that it's a triple punch. It will do one inch, one and a half, and two inches. So you can do layering and all kinds of fun things very, very quickly and easily. Really versatile punch. Okay, so this one's been cut two inches wide and you're just gonna slide it all in, all the way in till you get to the end. And we're gonna go ahead and punch that. And then you're gonna take it and put it in at the opposite end. And again, you're putting it all the way to the end and you're gonna punch that, okay? So now you've got three of these. And again, all of them were two inches wide by three to four inches long. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna snip out this center area. Again, that's why you really, um, it doesn't matter what the length is because you're gonna cut out this center area. And I know that you don't want to have you know much waste, but like I said, if you get it too short, what will happen is it's kind of hard to get it in there Plus you also start going past where the guide is at and it's hard to keep it centered. So don't go any shorter than about three inches. Okay, so now this is so easy to do. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna figure out what order you want them in. You know, we could go like that or we could go like this. That looks kind of cool. Maybe we'll do that one. And all you're doing is you're just offsetting them, covering up that hole just like that super super simple so let's go ahead set these to the side here bring in our glue and let's go ahead and do that so we're just going to put a little bit here i have a brand new glue it's coming out really fast don't need very much and again, you're just offsetting this. And you don't have to worry. Make sure that those are kind of straight, and they are. And you don't have to worry about that because the Taylor Tag Punch on the sentiment is going to cover that over. Okay? So let's go ahead and take, and we're going to just snip this. We don't doesn't need to be very long because what's going to happen is it's going to get hidden behind that tailored tag punch where the sentiment is at. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side here. So let's make sure we get them in the right order. <laughs> okay, so we've got, yikes, nothing like new glue. Okay, we've got that and then let's go ahead and put in, that's better. The Highland Heather. Okay, and let's make sure that these look about the same, and I think we're good. Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing. Whoops, let's get these kind of straight, and let's go ahead and we're gonna snip these off as well. Now, these are your scraps, so save these. You can use these, you know, to cut out maybe some flowers or something, something like that. Those are for another project. Okay, so now you've got these two pieces here. Okay, so let's bring in our piece of scrap Whisper White and go ahead and stamp our sentiment. Woo! Okay. And then we're going to bring in our tailored tag punch. And we're going to just... I've got glue on my fingers here. I'm going to center that like that. That looks good. Okay, actually we'll leave that open now that I just got ink in it in my finger. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to work from the back side. And we're going to do just like that. So what I'm going to do is we're going to bring in our dimensionals. We're going to put one here at the top, here and here, and then let's put a couple here on the ends. Okay, and let's just work off of one to begin with, the one on the top, and then we're going to take off the two sides. 
and you're just going to set that centered. And what you can do is let's go ahead and line this up, get this straight on our grid paper. And what you can do is see the little kind of humps there? Just line that up and then I know where about the center is, so let's put that down. And what that did is you've now, with the dimensionals that we took the paper backing off of, it's gonna pick that up, okay? And now we're gonna bring this one in and we're gonna do the same thing. Let's go ahead and take this one off. And this looks a little bit long. We actually could cut a little bit of that off still. So let's, Let's go ahead and cut that back a little bit more. You could overlap, you know, which is fine too. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to line it up there on the grid. We're going to work backwards here, or upside down, I mean. And that looks good. There we go. Cool, right? Okay, now let's bring in one of our circles. And we're gonna get our polka dot stamp. And all you're gonna do is we're just gonna stamp this all over around the outside edge. There we go. And then this is going to get right there in the center. And this is just gonna get glued on because we've already got it popped up on dimensionals. So, okay, let's get that centered. There we go. Cute, super, super cute. Okay, now what we're gonna do, you know what, while we have the ink pad open, let's, and this inked up, let's go ahead and do our envelope flap. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in just a scratch piece of, this is just copy paper. And let's go ahead and do our dots kind of all over this. Okay, that looks good. Cute. Now we've got a color matched and coordinated little envelope to go with it. All right, now, oh no, you know what? We've got still one more thing to do. And actually, we'll come back to it. Okay, so we've got our envelope, we've got this. Now we have to create the card. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna bring in your stamping trimmer. And what we're gonna do is you're going to take and you're gonna set this along the guide at the bottom and then you're gonna find your half inch line that's to the right of your blade and line it up, drop that down and score that, okay? So you've now created a score line one half inch in from the edge of that circle, okay? Now we're gonna take our glue and we're gonna go ahead and just add a little bit. And what I suggest that you do if you if you are using the glue don't get it too close to the line you want to keep it away a little bit because you don't want the glue to seep past that line to where the card needs to open if that makes sense it will in a minute okay now what i want you to do is line that up on the grid paper just like that so we know where that is and then line this up straight on Oops. Okay. And then you're just going to give that a squeeze. And that's going to dry. Now for you, what you're going to want to do is just set this aside to dry for a minute. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open it. Try and hold this in place and open it. And that's how it opens. Super cute, right? Okay, let's go ahead and open that up. And this is where if you wanted to do a sentiment that you could do that. I did mine on the top on the other card. Let's go ahead and do it on the bottom on this one. Whoops. Okay, wishing you a delightful birthday and then you could sign it here. 
Then you could also flip it over to the back and do your watermark. And actually this probably would have been easier to do. I can't do it actually. We're gonna go ahead and just do this part. You could do that one before you put these together because once you put this on you've got your layers on there and you won't be able to do your stamping but that's as simple as it gets is that not just too cute so now it just tucks inside this little three by three ready to give away so let me show you one other example that you can do with the punch and it is this one right here what I have done, I've, the Knight of Navy is two inches wide and it's three and one eighths inches long. And then I've taken Balmy Blue at one inches wide by two and seven eighths inches long and I've layered that on. And then this one, this was uh, the same greeting that was stamped in Knight of Navy. The polka dots are in Balmy Blue. And then I brought in the Everyday Label Punch Punch that out of the Whisper White and then just layered that on. And then that is going to go on this card right here, just like that. And it's just going to be a really sweet and simple card that is going to go with a baby gift. Really, really easy. This one happens to be, if anybody recognizes this, this was a card sketch number 103 from way back when. One of my favorites, just really, really easy to do. So again, you don't have to do the layers like I did on this technique. You can also work backwards, you know, like I said, use the everyday label punch and then add your label layers from there that are not cut. It's all one piece like I did here. Now I will tell you that of the punches that we have, when you're doing the sentiment layers, the two that I found looked the best were the tailored tag and the everyday label. I think because of the angles, it kind of offsets the roundedness that you have in the uh, delightful tag topper punch. The, the other punches that we have that have all the rounded curves to them, they ended up kind of competing with the curves in this punch. So those are the two that I would recommend that you stick with is the everyday label punch and the tailored tag punch when doing this technique of layering like this. But I hope you liked this. Hope you learned how to make the simple shape cards. This is one way to do it, as well as you know the different uh, techniques that you can use with the Delightful Day bundle. If you're looking for Stampin' Up! supplies, would like to make these projects, really easy to shop my online store at stampinsavvy.com backslash shop. I would love to be your demonstrator. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you've got comments or feedback, you know I love to hear from you. Please leave me a comment. Appreciate it. See you next time. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.